Hey, what's going on everybody? And a warm welcome back to the Whiskey Cove. And on today's episode, we have a special treat, and that is George D. Stag 2022. Run the video. All right then, folks, before we get into today's video, thank you to all the subscribers out there. You guys have just been stepping up and it's just been phenomenal support. You guys are wanting to build this community and I really appreciate every single comment, every single like, every single subscription, just anything that engages with the channel because that is the best way for you folks at home to give back to me and that's why I like to do these videos so I can share these experiences with you at home there. If you haven't already, go and check us out on the shop. Uh, the link is down in the description. That is the whiskeycove.square.site we can buy some awesome awesome glassware for like msrp as close to as it or as close as close to cost that i can get it shipped to your door engraved with the whiskey cove with that being said let's get into this review and that is of george t stag so last christmas i was able to get this bottle in a lottery very fortunate thank you to all the folks that were able to make that happen down there in denver at the argonaut i really appreciate that uh, as you can see that it's not closed anymore a recent video i did like a month or two ago about uh, like the seven bo best bottles in my collection this was on there and it wasn't open because i was looking for an excellent occasion to open that so we had a poker night and we had some bourbon friends and some great friends of mine coming over had some awesome beef brisket as you know I'm a big fan of that stuff so we thought let's get this cracked uh, one of the folks who were there last time I was over at his house he cracked his George C. Stag 2019 which was phenomenal juice um, so we cracked the 2022 so let's learn a little bit about this George T. Stag so this is coming in at 69.35 percent alcohol by volume also close to hazmat and also when I got this the awesome folks down at the Argonaut they give me the fact sheet I, I believe that this can, can sometimes come in like a box of three and one of these sheets are in that uh, or is in that uh, and they give it to me and it has a bunch of awesome awesome facts on it and I'll read some of you out now so the year that this was distilled in was 2007 and it was released for the fall of 2022 so the proof of release as we already mentioned 138.7 proof uh, the grain that he uses is Kentucky grain distillers grade one and two so some distilling and aging information uh, it the proof off the still was 140 proof uh, it was barreled in new white oak number four char and charred for 55 seconds uh, barrel maker was the independent stable lebanon missouri uh, the barrel entries the, the the proof that this went into the barrel was 125 bearing in mind it came out of the barrel 138 so you have angel share and devil's cut to thank for that this was aged in warehouse k from floor one and three uh, evaporation lost and this is my favorite part of this sheet uh, it's actually quite sad but it's also super interesting when we talk about angel share and uh, devil's cut so the evaporation lost so this is the percentage loss of the whole yield for george t stag for this year was 75 percent of the original whiskey loss to evaporation <laughs> so they put a hundred percent of the distillation and juice into the barrels and they lost 75 percent of it which is why these whiskeys are so rare so hard to come by and it can be quite expensive 75 percent is insane bear in mind as well when i was at buffalo trace i asked them this question because i really wanted to know it so i asked the tour guide uh like is there sometimes that you'll open a barrel and there'll be nothing in there and you'll be like yeah occasionally that does happen and then he also mentioned that they pay the full tax every year on a full barrel of whiskey so even though they lost 75 percent of the juice they were still paying the tax on the juice that they had lost 75 percent is just an insane amount filtration none product age the age of this whiskey is 15 years and five months so quite old there as well uh, and then it has some tasting notes which we won't go into because we will be talking about our own tasting notes so uh, really cool thing to have a really awesome bit a bit of more information and like a kind of letter from Buffalo Trace I kind of keep this in the back of then I'll probably just leave it there for the forthcoming weeks and months with that being said and hopefully uh, not too many of you folks have left us with that spiel let's get into this whiskey it's a good coke pop real coke which is always nice to see let's pour this whiskey in the glass and of course because it is a special whiskey we get a special glass we use the space i taster which is a cross between almost like a cognac and a, a glen uh, Karen. 
However, let's take a little look at the bottle here. It has that typical George T. Stag on the front, kind of like the stag horns, uh, and then also has the proof and the ABV there. And it also has a lot of the information there about George T. Stag and the process around that E.H. Taylor. A lot of cool history, actually. Uh, so if you ever have the chance to try this at a bar, ask if you can hold the bottle just to read that back label there, because it is a really cool read. As you can see, the juice in the glass is almost like black as the night there. You can just look, it's really, it's really difficult to see through that it's it's very dark and that would be a lot to do with high abv and obviously the 15 and a half year age statement with this uh, typical buffalo trace seal like all these uh, buffalo trace antique collections have their own same seal but just a different color there and also has a picture usually has like a picture in the background or just something uh, yeah i think that's mr stag in the background there but you can just about see it and also you have a lot number on the bottom laser engraved and that's going to be l22270 so lot 22 uh july i think that's when it was bottled is generally what that says with that being said folks let's pick up this glass and let's see what's going on here so as you can imagine very very viscous in the glass it's kind of like jello you kind of tilt it and it doesn't all quite move to one side yet uh, just holding it and rolling it you get a lot of those typical buffalo trace notes amped up to like a hundred percent color in the glass is very very deep brown wood uh burnt honey type of color there as well just holding up to the light like we like to do here the whiskey cove so let's go into for a nose here this is george d stag 2022 get beautiful kind of like candied spiced oranges so if you can imagine like a piece of orange uh, ca uh like coated with some sort of sugar and then like thrown with like some sort of coriander seeds and like nutmeg and that those sort of stuff really popular around christmas actually to do stuff like that uh in the uk at least and it kind of has a lot of those like i guess what i'm saying and like a citrus orange or bacon spice notes there beautiful punchy cherry note as well you kind of have some of that orange spice notes and you just uh, uppercut it with this buffalo trace cherry note plenty a plenty of barrel char in this one as well it's like they scraped out the barrel and try try squeezing some of that 75 percent uh, loss back from the devil's cut in the barrel it's just beautiful and, and the biggest thing i can take away from just how impressive that this whiskey is there's no burn, there's no heat, there's no ethanol, there's just nothing there that tells me I'm drinking a 69.35% whiskey. It's, it's just so sweet, so well balanced, no heat whatsoever. I expect some of that heat to come through on the palate, so let's just find out if we can find that heat. Cheers. So first impressions, guys and girls. It's just so, so rich. It's so beautiful in terms of that switch, uh, sweet richness there. And what it does really well with this whiskey is those sweet notes and those oak notes travel through the whiskey at the same level completely, which is why you get such a great, well-rounded, balanced whiskey here. Also, as you can imagine, for a 15-year, a 15-year, five-month whiskey, you are getting a lot of that oak character from this whiskey, a lot of that barrel char. But it's not too woody. It's not over. It's not over uh, over oaked at all, because you get that sweetness there, that rich caramel barrel char. Maybe a touch of kind of like a like a double oaked marshmallow there as well. Let's go in for another taste here. This whiskey does a fantastic job of just coating your mouth. And when we cracked this, so we cracked this about two and a half weeks ago. When I drank it, it did drink a little bit hot, which is understandable on a fresh crack and I think that this you know leaving it for a couple of weeks and then coming back to it and letting it open up a little bit has served this whiskey very very well indeed finish you do get uh, some spice on the finish but instead of like that like bacon spices or instead of a cracked pepper or chili kind of spice it's more of like a dried oak spice but that sweetness with it as well that rich caramel burnt caramel sweetness travels right alongside it all the way through to the finish and that mouthfeel carries on through as well you're just tasting it and 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 tasting it like i had my last taste about a minute ago and i'm still feeling it 
it's still so rich on the palate, a fantastic whiskey. So with that being said, let's talk about ratings, let's talk about value for money, let's talk about overall branding of this whiskey. Yes, we know, this is one of the antique collections, which is very difficult whiskey to find. If you're ever fortunate to be able to try this whiskey, or be able to buy it, then you know just how good this is. So even though the George T. Stag, I think that they used to put out, for the antique collection, uh, this was the most prevalent. Uh, of course, 2021, that they didn't put out a George T. Stag, that they felt that there was not, uh, it wasn't good enough uh, to be called George T. Stag. We probably had it in one of the Stag Juniors. However, they held it back a year, and that speaks to Buffalo Trace's quality control, because they never seem to put out bad whiskey, and that's a big reason for it. If they feel that it's not good enough, they ain't gonna put it out, which is what I always love and respect about Buffalo Trace. So, value for money. I think I paid like 100 bucks for this whiskey. I paid MSRP for it, which is awesome. Again, thank you for those folks down in Argonos, down in Denver, for allowing that to happen. Uh, 100 bucks is just insane value for money. Think about the Russell's Rickhouse Single Rick, which I paid $300 for. Uh, the uh, Willet Purple Top, which was also 300 And that's MSRP. I didn't overpay for those bottles. Maybe the Single Rick is more closer to 250 But still, that is around MSRP. So when you think about this bottle for 100 bucks, it's an AAA plus, 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 plus. This is a better, you know, some of the best value for money you'll ever get, that's for sure, especially at the price point of $100. Nothing even comes close, unless we're talking more about uh, Bu uh, Buffalo Trace's antique collection and some of the other hitters. The Willet Purple Tops are fantastic juice, don't get me wrong, and um, they can compare to stuff like this, but when you're paying $300, there's a big difference there in value for money. However, this is an A. So what would I give this? This is this is what we've all come here to see. What is the Whiskey Cove gonna give the rating out? George D. Stag 2022. So this is gonna be uh, something new for the channel. I've never been able to give a rating this high. Uh, I've never been able to give a rating for a whiskey that's been 95 and over. I'm gonna give this a 97, which is pretty, really, really, really high for this whiskey. And I think I've mentioned this before on the channel here. A lot of people when they're rating whiskey, they're just like, well, I don't wanna give it the max rating or really high rating because what happens if something else comes along that's better? I can't give that something else and kind of distinguish it between the other ratings. Well, you know, it's kind of like when you get married or, you know, for folks at home, when you get married, like someone will ask you, you know, how do you know she's or he is the right person for you? And you just say, you know, when you know, you know. And this is what's happening with this whiskey. When you know, you know. I know this is a fantastic whiskey. I know this is a great whiskey. Will there maybe be other whiskeys in the future that are better? Maybe, who cares? Because I love this whiskey and this is what I want. And that's why this George T. Stag is an absolute hitter of a whiskey. 97 out of 100, never been seen before in the whiskey go, and that's because this is just phenomenal whiskey. So I hope you enjoyed today's video because I have as well. I've loved this whiskey. And I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna drink the rest of this George T. Stag 20 22 that's in my glass so what we'll do maybe with this george t stag i really want to throw it up against some of the stag juniors just to see how good this is compared to stag juniors because stag junior is a phenomenal juice in its own right as well about half the price and very findable there as well so be on the lookout for that video because that is going to be a baller of a video with that being said as we drink through the world's whiskeys this whiskey every day if i can one glass at a time cheers